take two because I forgot to turn on the mic last time. Hi, my name is Kiki and I'm studying to be a personal trainer. I'm making this vlog to keep myself accountable to study. And I'm about to go do my first workout of 2023. Let's go! <laughs> Okay, so I'm sitting on my bed trying to review my own list. Okay, so what I usually do for warm-ups is just to warm up whatever I was going to do with just the bar. I know it's controversial. People are like, okay, you have to work on your mobility. You have to stretch the muscles that you're working, but... The bar is fine for me. You don't have to do it the way I do. Do whatever works for you. So here I am working up to like a one. A, oh, hello. Hi. Um, I worked up to a three rep max on the pause front squat. I also believe I did two back off sets after I did. However many kgs is this i'll put it on the screen you'll you see you, you can see you can see you've been seeing i need to edit this obviously and then i moved on to power hand cleans with no feet i wanted to add this movement into my own programming because i'm kind of interested in weightlifting and i want to see what i can do in like a year, you know, how much I can progress. One thing they don't tell you about weightlifting is that there's so many warm up sets. Like I did not know I would have to warm up this much. Cause I've never done anything like this before. I took like, you know, a clean and jerk clinic, a snatch clinic in the, um, what was I don't know what I'm saying. I took a couple clinics with this coach in New York City and Julia, she's really great. She also has her own YouTube channel. I'll link her somewhere in the description. I worked up to um, something that I could do for like five reps with consistent-ish form. I'm still working on form. Please don't be mean. Like I know that it's not the best, but it's also not the worst. I'm working on it. So we have we have this um, weightlifting coach at our gym, Andy. He's great. You can follow him on Instagram. Uh, he gave me a couple good cues to keep my chin up, keep my back tight, and to not change my torso angle when I'm pulling. So I would have to catch the clean the way I would front squat, which is not an easy thing to do it's not and then i moved on to some negative nordic curls these will tear your hamstrings apart you can see laura my friend laura and i did it together and freaking thomas with the cues squeeze your ass squeeze your abs it's rough 
you know, I'm really grateful to be surrounded by really great people at my gym. We have a great community, great culture. There's nobody who's like trying to judge you or gatekeep any information, okay? People are willing to help. They want to see you get better. So if you're just starting your journey off now, like ask questions, be curious, and just try out new things. See what it takes you. Also, I did three sets of 12 reps of Bulgarian split squats with the safety squat bar. I found it, but I guess it um, the file got corrupted. Anyway, it was a brutal leg day, and I can't wait to do it again. Um, anyway, I'm gonna study now. This is proof that I studied. I have to get through all these chapters. But, when I do, it's over for you bitches. Goodbye.